And welcome back folks to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. Now, before we move on any further, I think we need to go through mm, Zergal's Mage's skills. Uh, these are rather more qu uh, quick to go through than the other skills, and more self-explanatory. So, Air Magic. This skill represents your character's training in air magic. You obtain the power to cast new spells and increase the efficiency of your air spells as you as advance in the skill. In order to learn a spell, you also need to find a scroll explaining the rules of the spell. So yeah, uh, any spell that you haven't uh, yet found a scroll for is marked as a question mark, question mark, question marks. So you can uh, you get all a lot of different kinds of spells from air, earth, fire, and ice magic. You also get resist to that element, so resist shock from air, resist poison from earth, uh, resist fire from fire, and resist gold from ice. And you also get tiny amounts of uh, like associated stats, so uh, air element is associated with dexterity, earth with vitality, fire with strength, and ice with willpower. And as you reach the uh, 50 skill point mark, you become a master at uh, that element and basically become invulnerable to that said element. And uh, there is one uh, spell that gets uh, greatly boosted in all of these. Uh, with air, it's Lightning Bolt uh, at uh, skill 27. Yeah, Greater Lightning Bolt. With Earth Magic, it's uh, Improved Poison Bolt, Fire Magic, Fireball, and Ice Magic, Frost Bolt. And finally, all of these grant Circle of Protection, so all party members gain resistances to that type from each, each one of these at level 32, I think, for everyone, yes. So that's basically it for all the different magic types. Now then we have Spellcraft, which grants you a couple of different spells. I think these are uh, generalist spells. I, I believe Light might be one of them. Uh, th uh, then it grants you Willpower and Energy, both of which greatly enhance your uh, ability to cast magic uh, multiple times in a combat. And uh, you also get faster spell casting, and finally, as an Archmage, spell energy costs are reduced by 50%. So, uh, if the crazy amounts of energy you get from Spellcraft isn't enough, that reduces it, the cost f like <laughs> by half. So, you can just keep casting as much as you possibly could, could desire to. Oh, and I forgot to read the actual description. So, spellcraft skill represents your overall progress in the ways of magic. Advancing this skill enables you to cast more spells before exhausting your energy reserve. Yeah, basic stuff. And then we have finally staff defense. This skill improves mages' defensive abilities. From this, you get uh, protection, evasion, and health. And uh, also, light armor proficiency should you choose to wear such, such uh, stuff with your mage. And finally, Staff Master, which increases your protection and evasion uh, quite a bit. But uh, I kind of feel that this is sort of useless as your mage is almost always in the back row. Uh, being in the back row is by no means a guarantee that you never take damage, but if you know how to strafe around your enemies and plan your uh, moves carefully, you shouldn't need this. So the skill points are better spent in the spells and uh, spellcraft to increase your damage output and uh, yeah, basically make you a better mage. So I wonder where I should go. I th kind of feel like I should max one of these out. I kind of want to go earth magic for that poison cloud, but yeah. Also need feel like I have some problems with the amount of energy I get, but 
Ah, uh, let's just... I, I love being a fire mage, so let's just go full on fire for the time being, because these points uh, affect uh, our uh, fire burst, how much damage it does, so I'm going to go with that. Now, what these do is teleport. That sack was here. We press the button. Sack uh, transported to that room. Also, enemy was in this room. Now it's here. Let's try pressing the same button again. Ah, we freed him. Now this is going to get a bit painful, I assume, but hopefully we'll beat him without anyone from our party actually dying. And we most certainly did. Okay. And we need to... Attack uh, power 10. Speed 10. Ah. We need to give the, a torch to our mage, since now both of our frontliners have shields. Okay, and... Uh, Oh, I think we will be pressing the same button once again, because now the sack started here, went to here, and this is the square where our uh, enemy was the first time we pressed the button. So, we press this once more, it should go here, yes, and uh, bingo, we get a sack. Sack is a container which has in it a leather cap beetroot bread and a key. Now uh, I like to keep... Uh, oh crap I didn't mean to do that. I was going to move all my foodstuffs that I can fit into this sack. Uh, these sacks and uh, uh, other assorted containers make inventory management a heck of a lot easier. Right, I don't know if there are actually any other items anywhere in these. Let's just press this one just just for shit and giggles. Nope, I think we're done here. Now that gave us a uh, second shield, legionary shield and uh, one key. I think we need to use to get through this door. Right? Right. Now let's actually check this one first because that um, I don't like that uh, well, what it said in that um, room with the runes. And here we need two keys. I'm going to use this crystal. We didn't hadn't taken all that much damage, but uh, still a little bit. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything to be gained from uh, Yeah. This is what you get if you run out of light. You can still play the game, but it's Really freaking dark. Here we go. I had a feeling something like this was going to happen. Yeah. A lot of enemies. And uh, this one is going to make our life a bit more difficult, since uh, this is the first time we're actually fighting multiple enemies, and they can and will try to corner, like get you stuck in a corner. And that is not fun. Okay, now there's only one of them left, so 
should be okay. Ah, running out of energy as well. Well, that wasn't that difficult in the end. I was kind of expecting it to be a lot more harrowing than it actually ended up being. Thank you. I think that got us all the items we want. Oh, there's still one rock that we didn't find. And here we get Ice Shard, so uh, Ice Magic level 3 spell. Good, good. I wonder what that did. Should we use all three of these to... Yes, to get out of... Uh, out of this room. And bone amulet. A primitive amulet made of bones that are bound together with string. Doesn't look like it's magical or anything, but I'm going to hold on to that. Again, I kinda seem to recall that being useful later on at one stage or another of this game. I am absolutely not certain on that, don't quote me on it. But that's how I how I remember it. <laughs> okay, we haven't actually checked our map even once. This is something that I really wish I had ba way back when I uh, played a uh, dungeon master, because yeah, we didn't have maps then, <laughs> and uh, all of this uh, we. Uh, on uh, pen and paper, like by hand, trying to keep uh, <laughs> maps of the areas that we'd been to. You can use um, like leave descriptions wherever you want. I will probably be taking advantage of that once in a while. Yeah, uh, this is also a nice way of checking if you've missed something, and we actually haven't went gone through that door, which is right next to the staircase. I can remember if that's uh, because we couldn't, or... Uh, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Let's let you out there and... Uh, destroy you, shall we? Hello. Goodbye. Oh, you're a tough little birdie, aren't you? Not tough enough. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you can probably tell already, we are on uh, level 2. And uh, these are kind of the quick levels of the game. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the, this LP is going to take a while. And that's the way I like it. Ah, that wasn't one wasn't even really hidden. Open this one. Closes that. Huh. And open somewhere else. Interesting. And what about this one? Opens that up again. And is there. Yes, there is a. Another room behind the one we first went. Okay, nothing besides that key that we are supposed to find. Alright. It's kind of sad. I would have expected there to be something extra special here. Mm. 
Nie. No such luck. You were meant to find all of those. Okay. Let's just uh, use that key we just got in here. And we need one more key and it's behind this place, I think. So when we come back, we will find that second key and um, move on with the rest of this uh, second level. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Whoa! Apparently we are going off with a bang. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys later folks. Bye for now.